Yeah. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby. Let them hoes sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video of this channel. And if you're new here, my name is Debbie. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi bestie, welcome back to another sit down <laughs> because wow i won't say we, we vlog here because this is a sit down but it's good to be back like i said in my previous video i'm just going to try and try and try so yeah today we are doing a vision board video um sorry i need to put my phone on silent okay the setup is just me sitting in my sitting room on a sunday after work in the afternoon the time is 8 p.m. I just thought you know what this video is going to be as short as possible because in as much as I want to open up to you guys I can't tell you guys everything I've set up my space so beautifully with the new lights and my bigger ring light I just feel like I'm in studio right now <sighs> but before we do a video v vision board for 2024 I think let's recap on my 2023 vision board just so i show you guys just how possible it is because in all honesty i i believe in vision boards last year's was my first one and right now this one is like my second one this year so i just feel like <sighs> you can't tell me anything about vision boards anymore because that thing works that thing motivates you through and throughout the year like <laughs> yo i won't lie to you guys i was so motivated to like achieve my goals just because i kept on seeing that board in front of me so yeah let's um last year i never showed you because i thought i was hiding it from you but it was out there but i want to show you like clear clear just how it looked i hope you guys are going to be able to view inside this was my vision board for 2023 and then behind i wrote everything behind i had like 12 points or 12 things to achieve so i did 12 because the year has like 12 um months but that was my personal decision but you can just do as many as you want so let's go up onto the top it's written um subscribe at the time when I had the vision board, my subscribers in in this channel were like less than a thousand, <laughs> like literally. So my dream was to get like to a point where I have over a thousand subscribers. And now I have like over 2000 subscribers, all thanks to you. So that's one goal that I think I achieved. Guys, I can't see, so I need to have like things in front of me. I wrote a few things down just to remain remind myself so I had said I would have like and as much as I wanted more subscribers but I had also said that I would have like 5k subscribers by the end of 2023 that's a goal I didn't achieve and I know why because when I was sitting down reviewing I also uh, looked at the things that happened and why so I know that I did not achieve my my goal because towards the end of the year i was not that um that consistent onto the channel because of things that were just beyond my control but i have pushed forward this goal to 2024 so i'm going to push it forward so that even in 2024 this year i push into achieving it so the second goal that I have, I had, I have a camera picture here. Here, right here on the right side. So I have a camera picture where I said I want to improve my channel, like buy a lot of equipment, improve the quality of the channel, like quality of the content here. So that was through buying, um, equipment so i have a camera now we have faith she's so beautiful we've been working with her and i have even bought like a camera that i can use um a laptop that i can use to like work and edit i've also gone to buy more lights tripods and all of that like 
I've tried. Right now I'm working on a station type of situation where I'm going to have like sit downs, get ready with me, like because I like I've said in the first go, I just wanna go forward and improve and grow. Just like I'm not giving up on that growth. So yeah. I also had spoken about my channel saying that I want to do like beside my channel like me as an influencer me as someone that is influential out there i had wanted to work with a lot of brands i read i've written a lot of them but i've worked guys i think if you follow me on instagram you know that i've worked this year and i'm still going to work and i do not take that for granted because to dream and for the dream to come true it's not about myself, but it's about God listening to, to my prayers and answering my prayers. So I did not do it myself, but I was helped by God. So yeah, um, another goal that, um, and oh, and also it wasn't just brands, but it was international brands. And that was my dream. I wanted to get out of Swaziland because I know my country doesn't do like influencer work or believes in influencer work so I just wanted to go out of my comfort zone and I tried and I did it I'm still going to achieve like a bigger goal but I just want more no and I had said here young and influential I think when we sum up 2023 I was really young and influential to a lot of people so I'm still just going to be that. I don't know if I'm getting younger or what, but Jay, influential, yes. So another goal that I, I had here was I wanted to like do proper skincare. If you look at my skin, guys, <laughs> these people is just because I'm on my period, but my skin is healthy. I have an, a proper skincare routine that I've managed throughout the year and it's working for me i'm proud of myself okay so there's they, like i just achieved this goal right here i put it down in my vision board so you can't tell me nothing about vision boards and then i wanted to i wanted joy and happiness i won't lie to you there were highs that were just high and then there were also like the lowest of lows throughout the year so I had joy and happiness, not entirely the entire year, but I achieved to be happy and have joy and happiness. So I'm not even going to lie. I was happy throughout the year. I had my lows, I had my, my problems, but I, I made sure that I keep my heart happy and I keep my space happy. So that's another goal that I think I achieved. I also wanted to enjoy nature basically so i have like a whole picture of outdoor adventure um that's another goal that i didn't achieve because by the nature of my job i don't have time i really don't have time and <laughs> it's so sad such that it leads to you resenting your job i love journalism i'm not even going to lie it chose me because i love it but it has gotten to a point where I don't have time for myself, time for my friends, time for my relationships, time for my family. So, <laughs> yeah, that's another challenge for the year, but we always get the things through, I guess. Um, so I'm pushing it forward to 2024 just to see if I really find time to enjoy nature. I love hiking so much. I do hiking a lot. I did hiking a lot before my journalism career started, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, and then the other thing was eating healthy. Again, I blame my job. I can blame myself, but also it's just based on my job. I am always out late because of work, and I can't come and cook. I'm just a lazy person. I hate cooking, but when I... I when I have to eat, it was always junk. I'm addicted to KFC. I just love junk. I like uh, fast foods. So I did not eat healthy. 
and I had a goal of losing weight. I did not lose weight. I gained weight. <laughs> I gained weight. A homie. So yeah, that's a goal that is stressing me. But I know with um, courage, with persistence, and being consistent in achieving it, I can achieve it. So I'm pushing that I just get to that point where I lose weight and I'm eating healthy. So I'm pushing it forward again. That's that's the third goal I didn't achieve. Um, and then I had a goal of saving ne, that I want to save money and eventually um, have enough. I saved for 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 my laptop. I saved for a lot of things that I have achieved. I saved for my laptop. So I would say I achieved in when it comes to saving. But I wish I could do more. So I'm tr I've already put out a plan on how I'm going to save this year. I hope I stick by it so that I get more than I have gotten in 2023. Um, and then I wanted to, to receive, to be able to receive and give romance this year. Hey, I, it's hard. <laughs> Oh, it's hard, guys. Njolo, Njolo, Njolo is, is not for the faint-hearted. I'm not even going to lie. That's why I never put it out there or talk about Njolo because it's not for everyone and not everyone can achieve it, I guess. So, it's another day. It's another story for another day. And then there's therapy. I wanted to see a therapist this year, 2023. Guess what I did I achieved I got hold of the goal but my problem was I didn't stay I didn't stay in therapy um, I became one of those people that ditched therapy and I didn't stay because it was too much for me it was too much I, I was always crying to that lady I was always crying I was going through a lot and I just felt like it's me narrating and opening up to someone something that I'm not used to. I hate opening up because so many times previously I used to open up to people and it befired. So I just don't like it anymore. I don't do it anymore. But it gets to me that I don't have anyone to talk to. Which is why I I'm going back this year. But I found another therapist. So the trick is me finding someone that I'm comfortable with. Someone that I can talk to. And be comfortable at talking to. So I found another therapist. I'm hoping I will get to be happy around her. Um, yeah. But I'd encourage anyone to just go see someone. Talk to someone. Because he Naravangani family no yeah, yeah but let's do therapy guys um i also wanted to travel this year i didn't travel much i had outside out of the country trips but couldn't vlog because they were just quick quick and fast they're not those um traveling goals that i had like exactly the way i wanted them so yeah I'm still going to travel this year. I'm pushing it forward even this year. I wanted to have more money. I think in 2023, my financial um, part of me, side of me, was stable. It was okay. Um, I had struggles here and there, but I, I had money. I could sustain myself. Financially, I was okay. So I think I achieved that because previously, Life was hard. Life was just too much. And then I also had predicted or rather put it down that I'm going to pray to get a new job. In um, last year, September, I started in a new, um, August, my birth month, I started at a new job. So, yeah, I got a new job just like I had put it in my vision board. I had no idea where it would come from. I really had no idea, especially because I like, like I keep on reminding you guys that my life is just it's it's, it's God. 
it's definitely God because so many of these things happen and I just don't know how they happen. I had also said I want to get myself a car by the end of 2023. In November 2023, last year, I bought myself a car. I'm not even going to explain why I didn't show you guys why I I didn't come here to announce and make it like content. I don't mind showing you guys my life, but there's just some things that are so precious to me, such that I feel like if I talk about them, I'm just going to lose them. So I keep them to myself. But now, I think in the previous vlog, you guys saw that maybe there's a hint somewhere, even on my Instagram stories, there was hints with some other people just figuring it, figuring it out. So I do have a card now and I just want to end it today. I'm not even going to explain anything about it. It's, it's, it's enough that I've, I've said it even though I had promised myself that I was never going to announce. But because I want you guys to, to be motivated to have a vision board because this is something that has worked for me in 2023 and I believe that it can work for anyone. It doesn't have to be like big goals. If you know you can't buy a car, don't put it there. Or rather, even if you know that, you know, I, I don't afford a car, but given the right path, by God, I can buy it. Manager, I didn't know I could afford a car. I didn't know I could buy a car. <laughs> I saw people buying cars left, right, and center. It got to me, yes, but <laughs> I just knew my life. I knew my position, so I did not. I just did not. But I put the car there because I believe in God. I believe Guti. If I ask, he's going to provide. He made a way, shame. He really made a way, that guy. Um, I'm not even going to dispute Kuti. Everything that I put here, the most, the, the things that came true, the things that I achieved were just all because God was, was in my life. I got so closer to God last year and I think that's one of the reasons why he, he blessed me because had it not been the relationship I have with him, I don't think I would have achieved some of those things or most of those things or any of those things to be quite honest but now that we are moving to a new year I just want to to motivate or rather to tell you just how important it is to do the vision board you can do the vision board and you can pray because sometimes most people just put the vision board and then do whatever they do, then just put it there. And again, you can't achieve an, an, achieve anything you don't know. So in order to constantly know with your I want this, put it in manager. It's 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 next it's next to my colognes, my my dresser where there's my colognes, there's my everyday things that I touch. So I get to see it every day. Like literally, I get to see it every day. So make the vision board pray on it put it in a position where you you're going to see it and then work towards it you can't just jumble up everything but just pray in your prayer for the rest of the year mention at least one or two of the goals that you want and then just work towards achieving them Good if it's longer, longer than now without God. There's nothing. I don't believe that you you can just achieve way now without God. If you know the foundation of your life, then you know who to trust. I trust God with all my heart. There's a lot of things that I've been through, especially in 2023. But He was still able to bless me. Like yo, so many things that if I can open up. You guys would be shocked that <laughs> well you are still here you are alive yes because i know that the lord doesn't just give you a challenge in every challenge there's a lesson in every hard thing that you feel like oh my god there's a lesson and there's always something better god doesn't just take there's always something to look forward to so I just want to say 2024 vision boards let's do it 
let's do it and let's pray about them let's believe in them Minege, i've asked god numerous times to use my life as a testimony a living testimony just so you see guti what has god done and who is god and how capable he is Mine, i just want you guys to see my life and say you're the child oh look at god because i have I have tried to show you guys my growing up journey and I've always tried to let you know just how I got there, how I got that. Even me being a journalist is God's grace. I'm not even going to lie. I did not study journalism but God said you are going to be a journalist and you are going to work and you are going to love what you do. And you're going to accept what you do. So I believe without God in the center of this whole thing, we just need to believe that there's a God out there. There's a God out there and we all have dreams. Let's dream and let's dream together with God. Because... <sighs> Mangabe, I hate this. I could be a gang about I continued being myself. Yeah, yeah. I have a vision, but I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna buy a camera. I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna buy a car. Yeah. I mean, life. They like go to work. I let I work. God knew, but most of these things, I couldn't achieve them with the salary I got from my previous job. <laughs> there was nothing, Jay. He. Yeah that I could achieve with what I was getting paid at my previous employer. And God was like, you know what? For you to get this, let's get you a new job. And I'm glad that you put it in your vision board. And he got me a new job. I'm not saying where I am, I get paid like in dollars or what, but it's better and it's achievable or it's allowing of me to achieve some of my goals. So, even getting the job, you'll be yo, you'll be surprised how it happened. But it's it's grace all over. It's grace in every sense. 2023 for me in a nutshell. God showed me grace. Grace, grace, grace. Which is why when I got to to buy the car, I just said, oh my gosh, here comes Grace. My car's name is Grace. And I've been grateful throughout being with her. And we've grown fond of each other. And every day when I'm inside the car, I just think, oh. What a grateful God. What a graceful God. What a God full of grace. I'm so grateful to God. So, even my channel, the journey of my channel is, is crazy. I wasn't posting for some months. I was going through a lot. And maybe one day I'll speak about it. Maybe not. Um, I shut out even on my social media I just wasn't active me but Jomabangi Shongiti 2023 was a year where I saw God's grace I've never doubted the Lord in everything that I've been through I've been through horrible stuff I've been through things that I look back and I'm like how did I survive Meaning I'm one person that suffers from anxiety. Like quick, quick, I'm anxious, I'm trembling, I'm shaking. But through it all, God, God was here, God helped me. So I'm encouraging anyone listening. I'm encouraging everyone watching my channel that as you, as you watch my life, I just wish you to know, I just wish you'd know the things that are 
I bring you this face, the foundations. I was raised in a Christian church, a Christian home, where went to church every Sunday, prayed every day at home. So, God, never lose sight of God. Good day, good, there's nothing you'll have without God. I hear people say this, I hear people say that, I always say, now my life is because of what God has been to me. And I open my life for the Lord. I'm not perfect. I will never be perfect even because no one is perfect in this world. But I'll always remember who God is. And I'll always know where to go, where to cry, who to cry to, who to go to. That you can't tell me nothing, Shane. You can't tell me nothing about God. So, I wouldn't even come out there and now I'm, I'm being a pastor on you guys. No. But the fact that God is in my life is the reason why I'm here. Is the reason why I'm here. And you wouldn't even believe it when I tell you guys that even in 2023, I had to fight to achieve so many of my goals because there were people just... It's not like everyone is going to like you. It's not like everyone is going to believe in your goals. It's not like just because you have put it down, you're going to achieve. No. There's challenges. There's tribulations. There's people just blocking your way. Because they just don't like you. And it's not your fault. Never even think it's your fault. Shame. People are just like that. But I mean, I, I, I put, I always put it as a challenge from God that this, let me put this person here and see whether you'll continue to believe in me. And the more he put these people on my way, is the more I got closer to him. So the more he put those challenges on my way, is the more I remembered because, yo, you can stand on my way, but my God is there. So, even if you put it down in a vision board, it will always be challenged. You are just never going to just achieve anything. Just always brace yourself for challenge. And brace yourself for everything that you want, you're going to ask God. And if you are not going to put God first, shame, it's going to be hard. It's, it's, I'm sorry, my dear. It's, it's going to be tough for you. So, let's do our vision boards this year. I'm not really going to do a video of vision board like step by step i feel like i've done it but this recap this this um 2023 recap for the vision board i felt like i needed to share it with you guys i felt like if i shared with you guys you guys are just going to do your vision boards and we all just be happy girls out there we'll be happy we'll be we'll, yeah we'll be flourishing throughout the year so um to everyone that has been asking and begging for me to do a sit down and tell you guys about my vision board i hope this is enough and i hope you guys are going to watch till the end and if you really watch till the end please leave like some pink hearts at the bottom because i love pink okay <laughs> but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys it left you motivated and looking forward throughout the year as for me and this channel i am still going to give you the vlogs give you the, the content i know I'm, i might not be like that consistent because of the nature of my job guys Ew, it's terrible but i'm just going to always keep you in my heart and always remember you you guys are so important to me because you are my safe space like this is my safest space i think in the entire world <laughs> so i'm always safe here i'm always open i'm always feeling like you know what i'm i'm speaking to my people yes i'm sometimes anxious like right now but i just feel like um i'm always happy to share like, I just feel like I, this, this video is so close to my heart. Now that I'm closing it off, I'm just realizing just how close it is. Because this is me, like, opening up to you guys. 
and i hope you guys are going to receive me well and leave those pink hearts down there and yeah if you truly enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to comment say whatever you want to say leave a nice comment motivation tell me how you tell me tell me the things that you guys achieved on so i got cut off by the camera while saying bye to you guys but thank you so much to everyone that has um watched till the end and i hope you guys are going to be receiving this video well and are going to be doing your vision boards tell me the things that you guys achieved throughout the year tell me um your plans for this year if you are going to do a vision board and yeah at least also if you have a testimony about the whole year that um has brought you joy or did you feel like you want to tell the world you can use my comment section and i won't judge um we don't judge here so if 2023 vision board for you worked tell us and if it didn't work tell us and then maybe we can motivate you but i do believe in vision boards i do believe in vision boards so yeah guys um thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much see you on to the next video and i hope i'm able to post at least one video every week love you so much guys love you so much besties Mwah.